All righty, Tokyo Revengers, episode number four. I got, like, my hair is just like, oh my gosh, today. Four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning. Anyway. Um, Tokyo Revengers, episode number four. We're finally past episode zero material, so I am excited. Let's watch it. They are loud, yes. Girl, never mind. She a bully too. <laughs> yeah, now nah, your girlfriend is a bully. Nah, her his girlfriend is out of a gang. Ain't no way. Nah, nah, nah. She a bully too. She be out here in these streets <laughs> rowing down in the cat fights. <laughs> I can now with this, this ghetto ass enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna skip the opening though. It's a great opening, but I wanna get to some to some exploration of the characters. I have a dream. I'm going to help you study. Okay. Right. A little creep. At least her mom cool with the having the guy over. Kinda odd, but I wanna get my hair braided. I'm gonna look see who can braid her around me. Right boy, you out here spoiling uh the future. Someone much older, girl, because you are. I love to know more about you. That means you want to have sex. Was that supposed to be signs of an erection? The fireworks? Never mind, I'm reading into this too much. And he's supposed to be like little kids too. Let me stop. It's creepy. No firework. Girl, them digital fireworks. I'm just so confused though. What's all these people doing on the roof? Oh, is he saying he doesn't remember this? So this never happened? Oh. Screaming. Nah, now he going back to the future. Got him. Got him. What the hell were you doing there, man? Screaming. I now understand everything. Okay, little boy. <laughs> he said, I understand everything. Time travel allows you to return 12 years into the past. If you were to go back in the past, you go back today 12 years ago. A week we have also passed here. Okay. So I was dead. 
Interesting. So if he dies in the past. Why didn't you kill him? Ooh. Involved in various crimes. Oh, damn. So maybe Mikey was the one that drove the car and killed her. Damn. I'm telling you, Mikey killed her because he's jealous. I want to see him and talk to him in person. Ooh. Back into the past again. You think Mikey gonna remember you though? Well, I guess so if he did change the past. How y'all gonna know where to find him? Why would a cop know where to find the, the head criminal? A cop wouldn't know how to find the head criminal. Because they always on the run. Right. Take the compliment, baby. Is extremely careful, right? Right is what I'm saying. Even the police can't track him down. Come on now, how y'all gonna find him? Oh, so he isn't dead. He was arrested after stabbing. Oh. So he actually did stab him. Oh shit, y'all really fucking up the future. Toman's upper echelon. As long as his number hasn't changed. To get through to Mikey, okay. Dang, he, did he really out here changing? See, here, here's the quick solution. That is disgusting. You got bags of garbage and cockroaches in your room? That is disgusting. Bags of garbage. Take it outside and throw it away. And you got cockroaches running around. You got mushrooms growing from your sock. That is disgusting. What was I about to say? Um, yeah, if I went back to the past... I would have just hit the lottery and all of our lives would have been changed instantly. Like that. Easily changed. Nothing would change. That's a lie. I mean, maybe he's not going to answer because that's not his number. Duh. Shoot, I've changed my number multiple times. And people still be finding me. How? <laughs> like what? He's someone the police can't get close to, right? More than that to change your friendship. Okay. Is this a brothel? Isn't that what's his name? The one who wore glasses? Okay, maybe that is him who wears glasses. No matter how different he looks. They got money. They got this whole establishment. They got money. Behind you, genius. Oh. Oh. Oh, he grown up. Oh, he looked like Eminem, the rapper. <laughs> he looked like Eminem. Oh! They know they took this character from Eminem. What do you mean? He he has no muscle mass. He's very skinny though.
But his hair is black now. It's not blonde. Ain't no one gonna talk about that? Oh, I thought he was about to knock him the fuck out. Oh, at least he's they still nice friends though by the looks of it. Okay. At least he wasn't on no shady stuff about to hold the gun to his head or something. He got money. You can't buy everything with money. That's true. Some things you still too broke to buy. He's Tachi Banda. He knows his sister. How do you know that? Organization of Tokyo Maji Gang is. Ooh. Explain. Yeah, we just saw that flashback. Okay. The person who pushed you onto the tracks. Oh, bitch. Oh, hell, get bitch. Oh, me and him, I would have got to swing it. He's the person that, sh that pushed him onto the tracks. And you out here talking. Oh, he about to. He's about to try to kill him on the rooftop. Ain't no way. Gee, I'll ask who pushed this nigga on the tracks. It was him. Oh, baby. We, see, off friendship aside, we would have been boxing on that roof. He don't, he has no muscle mass. We outside and can't no one see us. His security ain't around. Oh, he would have got his ass beat, beat. And then I would have threw his body off the roof. I would have threw his whole body off the roof. Shady, horrible, horrible friend. But someone saved you. Tachi Bana Naoto. Like he threw. He knew you were going to fall into the tracks. But you can't go back into the past, can you? From the past to help you. There's no way anyone could have saved you without knowing. Right. Why did you push him into the tracks? Always calm and collected. To sacrifice yourself for your friends. The Tokyo Manji game must have Akun held hostage. This is so emotional. Who is Kisaki Teta? Who is Kisaki? And why does Kisaki want him dead? I'm assuming Kisaki must want him dead. Yeah. Change after Draken died. Oh, shit. Spoilers! Shouldn't have died, but he bit it. Push him off the edge. Fuck that. Who cares what he had to say? Get your revenge. <laughs> Get your revenge, then go back into the past and change it. That's some real love right there. He about to jump off the roof? Oh! What in the hell is going on in this anime? Oh my god! So he jumps off the roof and just commits suicide? Oh my sh- Oh, I was not expecting that. Damn! What drove- and who, who is the person that he's scared of? Is that someone inside of their old friend group? I don't remember all the names. Oh, shit. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Dang. I want to know why did Akun push him off? Who is that? Is that the uh, the dude who was peeing and they almost didn't wash his hands with them with the glasses? The one who turns home and evil is. Kisaki. Who is Kisaki? Akun and Hina. Okay, so now he on the whole joyride to save everyone who's died. Okay. Okay. I, that, that's a really smart way to drag out this story from being longer than one season. Because now if you're trying to save everyone... If you about to try to save every single person who dies in this story, this is going to be a long ass series, I can tell. It's about to get so deep cuz 12 years is a long time. Like if you think about it like Bleach, everything that happened in Bleach from the beginning up to like Uabak. All of that happened in like what? Like maybe 3-4 years. All of that's that entire story was like 3-4 years of content. Like, I'm talking about, like, in terms of in-person storyline. So, if they got 12 years to cover, they got a lot of stuff to go through. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to really enjoy this anime. Oh, yes. I was not expecting um, for him to just jump off the roof, though. And I damn sure was not thinking that it was going to be him who had pushed what's-his-name onto the track. But how did Naoto know to save him? How did he know to come and save him? Because that hasn't been said yet. Takemichi hasn't told Naoto that he was going to be pushed onto the track. So when does that occur? Oh my God, I need to know. Anyways, let me know how you liked it down below. This is getting very interesting. Let me know what else you want me to see and I will see y'all in the next one.